It's a pleasure to bring you our PGA Tour action live on 2K Sports. We're at the Columbus Cup. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company. And I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Semi-blind tee shot here at Emerald Lake Golf Club. A par four measuring 492 yards off the back tee. Elevated tee. And most players are going to drive it into the right center of the fairway. Only the big hitters can get it up top there. Second shot will be a blind second shot. As you can see there, the railroad ties obscuring some of the views. A very flat green once they get there. But all in all, a difficult hole to judge on distance. Can't wait to find out what happens here. That a boy, good shot. This putt from around 18 feet. Oh, hello, welcome to the course. Absolutely love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good, opening the first with an under par score. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first, great job. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Down here on the third hole, this is Sergio Garcia's next shot from 29 feet out. Oh, what a great stroke. Setting up in the first cut. Mm. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. At minus two, coming along nicely today. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. This one needs to kick left. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Airmail the green with that approach. John, you're down there. What's happening? Down here on the fourth hole, guys. Cooch's getting ready for his next shot. This would be a great up and down from this spot. close was that to going down and that should secure the par well done <laughs> finds himself in a share of seventh not much happening moving down the leaderboard never a good sign teeing off here at the fourth What a gargantuan tee shot. Sitting at two under, currently tied for seventh position. The interesting choice of the driver here.
Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Well, this will be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Ooh. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Now four back after that hole. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. Ooh, staying aggressive. Going for the green. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Lining up the birdie putt here. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. And that will take him to three under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Time to tee off at the sixth. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm watching Sergio Garcia set up his next shot here on the seventh. Oh, good look at Birdie here. This shot from around 210 yards. Three strokes off the lead. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Ouch, that hurts. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. You can mark it down, that's birdie number four today. And I like it, two in a row, he's feeling it. Just two shots back after that hole. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Going with the seven. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, I'm on the eighth hole right now. This is Matt Kuchar. And back to the course with the live action. <clears throat> and as they stand over this putt, it's for a share of third spot. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to five under par. He's in a share of third place. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, 
Kate, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Mm -hmm. Straight out of the top draw. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And that puddle drop. Well done. Just one off the lead after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up, headed for the green. Amman on the ground. John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I'm down on the 10th hole. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. That takes great skill. Lovely shot out of the sand. Well, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to six under. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. This hole is a par five. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Looks like they've got the five wood. This one headed left. And now we go to the 11th where this happened just a moment ago. Our current leader is showing us why they're on top. Well, I wonder what happens with this approach. Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. A sigh of relief, happy to be putting again. And this putt is to move into a share for the lead. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to seven under. He's currently tied for first. Moving up the leaderboard, I like it. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. Outstanding approach shot. Just three feet to the cup. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And that's eight birdies today. And with that, 
He'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Opting for the five iron. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. Oh, so close. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Leading by a shot after that hole. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Oh, check this out. Showing us how it's done from the sand. It's always a good view playing from an elevated position to the green. Going with the five wood. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Putting for birdie. Okay, steady now. Can make this one. It's for par. And well hold. Let's move on. Currently eight under for the round. It's time to begin this par four hole. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. Oh, the fried egg, that's ugly. Any chance of getting out of this bunker? No, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. A lovely shot into a few feet. Three feet to go here to the hole. Job done, let's head to the next. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Here we have a par five. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped. The excitement. It's starting. You can hear it. Ah, bit untidy, wasn't it? Let's have a look at Sergio Garcia from earlier. Well, that's certainly worth another look. Let's take a look at the replay. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. Smart shot, always back into the fairway as a safe play. Sitting at minus nine for the day, currently in the lead.
This one might need to get down a little. Nicely done. 13 feet to the hole. This one's online. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? That's a solid part. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Uh-oh, they've hooked this one. Second shot here on the 16th. a bit wayward wasn't it Ooh, good shot got a fair piece of that ball and here we are with the third shot quality shot that one well, this would be a great par putt if you can make this oh, I love a player with big heart you've showed plenty there it was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. Now at minus nine for the day. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Opting for the five wood. Come on, get down. That's not the outcome they were after. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, I'm going to go with 36 feet for this putt. Should be interesting. That's frustrating. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Yep. Well hold for bogey. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. This is a short par five. What will be your strategy? This hole is so gettable. They're definitely looking to extend that lead by one or maybe even two strokes once the hole is finished. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff from about 200 yards out. Little extra club required going back uphill for their second shot if they want to get it all the way back to this whole location. Looks like they've got the five wood. <laughs> yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. Setting up here with a very long putt. Get in the hole. Remember, putting's a finesse game. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. The putt is underway. And that signs off on today's round. And that'll do it. Lovely start to the opening round in top spot, but there's a whole bunch of people right over their shoulder. Not bad whatsoever, but still just the opening day. Lots of golf left to play. However, it does give you a little boost of confidence going forward, knowing that right now you're at the top of your form, your game is good, and you're in a good space. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.